last question. Yeah, look at me, eh? I am the most fantastic, fashionable magician Mr. World has to offer. I was never ashamed of being skinny, but the problem is whenever people pick on you, I think it just ruins your confidence and your self-esteem. Very honest, I grew up with the middle child syndrome. You know, older brother did everything very well, had a younger brother, got all the attention and me in the middle. Kind of really never, was neither here nor there. Actually, I find out in life, uh, we should not just live for ourselves. We should live to live up each other. My friends and family tell me that I'm a bit on the bigger side, but every time I look in the mirror, I, I, I tell myself, it's like, I'm not there yet, you know, it's, it's not where I want to be right now. I think that competitive spirit comes from the natural desire for me to compete because I exercise a lot and I want to look better. I want to look better than the normal human. There is a never-ending cycle to get the best body in the world. Saya pernah dipanggil nerd sebab dulu saya pakai glasses and and then bila uh, saya main rugby and involved in fitness but I start to look more uh, rugged ah uh. then at that time I feel more confident. Mula saya macam ah uh, wow body dia lagi kemas so I tend to I tengah buat workout juga so I tengok macam alamak asa body aku macam ni satu yang mencabarkan diri I so I akan buat benda tu. Before my gym life, I had a very skinny type body. Everyone would come and tell me, okay, baby, this time for you to go to gym. Then they come and push me. When you work out, your, your mind will control. This is my happy place, it's like my second home there. That's where my life changed. Men do have an issue with their bodies as well. If not, you wouldn't see many of us in the gym. Everybody needs a form of validation, but it's what form of validation do you get from? Whether is it, is it a positive one or is it a negative one? And who you get your validation from? You know, the, the competition is against yourself. You know, you are your own worst enemy. Nowadays, I think uh, it has come to people's aware and attention that it is okay to look the way you are. It is fine. Bukan sekadar nak build the body, tapi it's also build our mental. So bila mental kita tu dah kuat, apa kritikan ke kita dah boleh tepis. Untuk kita confident tu, kita kena ada self accept kita punya body. When it comes to self-acceptance, it's all about love. Before you can give love to someone else, you must learn to love yourself first. You are enough and you do not have to change for anyone else. It also, we should get our confidence for just being ourselves generally. But also the way you think, the knowledge you apply, how you bring yourself to present yourself in front of the people. So I think that is the own personal validation. Whether you are happy looking at yourself, I think men Asian men especially, we just honestly don't talk about our, our feelings enough. It's a journey, you know. Always trust the journey. I always believe in that because you don't know where the journey leads you. You might have like a lot of downfall in the beginning. But towards the end, God will always have a way for you. You can put yourself in the position of others when you can reflect yourself as them. So I think this is how we grow. But in order for you to actually get confident, you should actually really dig, dig deep, deep down and find out who you really are. Bagi saya, experience untuk struggle tu, ya memang ada. Itu standard mana-mana permulaan kita. Dari zero pada ke hero. Pretty stronger than before and um, happier. Happy, happy, yeah. <laughs>